Hello, I'm Babs, and it's great to be with you as we lean into wellness and build a better life. Today, I'd like to talk about the Parthenon and what a beautiful structure it still is today. Even though the building began to be built in 447 BC, it only took about nine or 10 years to build this incredible structure. One of the most fascinating things about the structure was the stone that was hauled all the way up to the top of this hill to build the beautiful columns that many of which still stand today. These columns weigh between 63 and 119 tons each. The massive amount of work that it took to get those columns up there is amazing. The main purpose of that structure was to protect the monumental statue of Athena. So this huge structure was built to protect that one representational body under the Parthenon. The Parthenon is very metaphorical for us and the pillars in particular. We have pillars of health that will serve to protect our bodies if we will subscribe to them and if we will do our best to try to rediscipline our lives so that we can have better health. One of the most important elements, a foundational element, in fact, to taking care of our bodies is good sleep. If you don't have good sleep, you really are not going to end up having great mental health or physical health. And those two things kind of allow us to have good spiritual health and better relationships. So it's crucial that we work toward good foundational sleep. Sleep begins in the morning. It's very important that as much as we can, we get up the same time every day, we go to bed at the same time every night. Important things happen to our brains during that time if we are consistent with sleep time and waking time. We should turn our lights on as soon as we can for our wake up time so that we can wake ourselves up. And it's very important that we get outdoors as soon as we possibly can when that morning sun is rising. It's critical to get sunlight in our eyes. That doesn't mean look directly at the sun. It's problematic. We learn that as children, but we wanna look at that kind of glowing yellow light out by the edges of the sun. It also is helpful to do that in the evening, but we really wanna get that in the morning. Five to 10 minutes on a sunny day and 20 to 30 minutes on a cloudy day. Obviously, it's beneficial to be outside as much as we can. That helps our circadian rhythm. When we, our bodies know we're outside, we're getting that sunlight, it helps us set our rhythm for the whole 24 hours. And it's crucial to our health. Getting up early and so that we can see the sunlight early, as early as we can, is very helpful to our first morning cortisol. Now, sometimes we think cortisol is bad. Cortisol is actually great and necessary to life and health, but we want our cortisol first thing in the morning. Having proper sleep allows us to have cortisol first thing in the morning. We need cortisol first thing in the morning. We need cortisol to help our immune system. There are many things that cortisol does for us that we need that provides good health for us. So having appropriate sleep, getting up at a similar time in the morning, going to bed at a good time at night so that we have proper sleep is crucial for mental health and physical health. Another critical pillar for our health and taking care of our bodies is good fuel or good food. It truly does affect our thinking and our ability to be sharp and our ability to live a long and healthy life is what we choose to put in our bodies. It's so interesting to me, we would never consider dumping garbage in a gas tank. It just wouldn't happen. What happens when we put garbage in a gas tank? It doesn't go well. Our car would cease to function. 
We would not be able to drive our automobiles if we didn't put good quality gasoline and fuel in our tank. And yet we'll often put garbage into our mouths and expect our bodies to do what we'd like it to do. I want my body to do, to be healthy and strong and look great, but I'm not willing to eat well. It's a disconnect. One leads to the other. Good fuel is critical to our feeling well. We need to eat fruits and vegetables, high quality proteins, whole grains, have that good balance, limit artificial sugars and, and other sugar that is refined in, in our diets will make a very big difference in how we feel every day and is another crucial pillar to good health. Movement and exercise is another pillar. We often say movement is medicine. We know movement can reduce anxiety and depression. Move, move all you can. Even if that's just moving, walking. Walking is great for you, walk. We've talked in another video about rucking. That means like putting some weights on you and moving. Maybe get to the gym. Maybe you're just lifting cans, whatever it takes move, lift, really work on that body. Movement is medicine, very crucial to mental health and physical health, movement. Another pillar of good health is healthy relationships. We really need to work toward having healthy relationships. Many of the videos that we are producing for you will talk and are talking about healthy relationships. That means that we work on being the kind of friend, family member, and partner that we would like to have. I cannot make someone else be who I want them to be. I can really only work on myself. Therefore, working on healthy relationships starts with me. Choosing good relationships, choosing to be around people that lift us up is crucial. We become most like all the people that we hang around. So spend time being around people that lift you up and also spend time being a person that lifts others. Find ways to become involved in healthy in-person relationships. It's great to have online relationships, but the sweet spot is in-person relationships where we can really exchange a lot of feeling and emotion and those good, happy hormones of oxytocin and those feelings of love and goodness that help us feel better. This is really important. That's a pillar of good health is to have healthy relationships. Another pillar of health is to really work on stress reduction. It is not really true that self-care is binge watching or scrolling on our phones. Those tend to be really less helpful and more of a distraction than active self-care. Active self-care is something that helps you be a better person, a healthier person, feel well, feel stronger. So that means being out moving. That means uh, reading things that feed you. That means it might mean watching a show. There's nothing wrong with that. But if that's your only go-to, that's going to be more difficult to feel well over time. So treating yourself to unhealthy food is probably not in the area of self-care. Even though it feels good in a moment, it's not going to really bring us what we want to have in the long run. So we need to be careful with what do we use as stress management? Are we exercising? Are we getting out in the sun? Are we finding ways to read good things or to watch things that feed our souls or help us feel happier or better? Also actively serving other people can be a great stress reducer and can help us live a healthier life. Now getting back to the Parthenon, hauling that marble up the hill took incredible effort and carving those pillars took very skilled stonemasons 
to carve those beautiful, beautiful pillars that have lasted literally thousands of years. It will take time and effort for us to build these pillars of good health. It's just to be expected. Be patient with yourself. It will take time, it will take effort. We are going to make mistakes, it's okay. Make those mistakes, work on it, do better, but keep understanding that it takes effort. Change one thing at a time and you will build a beautiful Parthenon of your life that will protect yourself just as the Parthenon protected that huge statue of Athena. I hope you have a great day and as we lean into wellness to build a better life. Until next time, have a great day.